Today we're going to talk about a ridge augmentation or what happens when you don't have enough bone to place an implant. There are very few people who are actually not a candidate for an implant placement based on a bone defect. Many times we can graft the area to be able to maintain or create that bone for the foundation of the implant. So I'm gonna show you this x-ray here. And what we're looking at here is a missing front tooth. That's a very important tooth. And so we need to have enough bone to be able to place an implant. When I double click right on that missing spot, we're going to see what's called a cross section. This is a CT scan. In this cross section, you can see this is the area of the bone that we can place the implant. Behind it is the nasopalatine canal, which is filled with arteries, um, blood vessels, and also a nerve. So we don't wanna get into this canal. It's not a dangerous canal, and it really doesn't cause any nerve sensitivities when you impinge on it, but it, it does make for a more complicated surgery. So on this patient, we're going to wanna to stay in front of the canal. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this bone, and we have about five millimeters of bone. So a standard size implant is about 4.2 millimeters. Now let's do the math. If we have 4.2 millimeters and we only have a five millimeter space, that's giving us less than 0.5 millimeters on each side to spare. So what can we do? Um, a half a millimeter on each side, you're talking about half the thickness of a credit card, very thin. Well, one thing we can do, as we did in this patient, is we can put a narrow implant. So we can use a three millimeter implant, and now that'll give us a millimeter and a half on each side, or at least uh, a millimeter on each side to be able to work with. Another thing that we can do is we can augment the bone. And so in doing that, we will extend the bone at least one or two millimeters to be able to have that sufficient ridge to place the implant. A ridge augmentation can take about four to six months to heal. And sometimes it can be done the same time as the implant, or if it's really severe, we'll do it beforehand. Does it hurt? Sometimes it can be sore, and that's because we're stretching the tissue over the area to be able to place that large amount of bone. And so a ridge augmentation is a separate procedure from placing the implant. It does have a separate cost to it as well, but it's a great, great procedure to be able to get you sufficient bone. If you wanna know a little bit more about a ridge augmentation, I can show you some of the materials that we use.